Hi, welcome to Super User TV. Can you introduce yourself and tell me about your role in the community? Absolutely, Alison. My name is Edgar McGanna. I'm a Cloud Operations Architect at Worday. I've been in the community since 2011 and Santa Clara Summit. I've been an old timer already. Uh, I've been different hats, uh, wearing different hats. Uh, first of all, as a developer, I spent uh, a lot of time in the quantum project. Now it's the Newton project. I was part of the foundation team of that project. I become the core uh, member of that project. Uh, around two years ago, I switched my role to be on the operation side. And since then, I've been leading a lot of uh, strategic uh, movements on the deployments, operations, and uh, sustainability of OpenStack. So having both the mindset of a developer and an operator, do you, what, you see the importance of giving the operator feedback to the developer community. So in the OpenStack community, what does that process look like? Well, there are many different ways for the operators to actually speak up and provide feedback and actually be part of the community. I will start the simplest case is to be part of the mailing list. We have different mailing lists for the user committee, for the users, for the operators. And it's an open forum. You can ask questions. You can share your concerns. You can share your feedback. It's a very good one. The second one that we have is the operators meetup. We have uh, these meetups every three months. So we normally have it during the summit, like right now. And we also have a mid-cycle. Uh, so the last one was in Manchester United. So we have different uh, places where we actually have the meetup. So we want to expand it. So the operators have the opportunity to uh, share their feedback in, um, in all these forums. Lastly, we have the user committee, which is probably the most important part. The user committee is part of the foundation, and we actually creating or are creating, we are creating the forums for the community to express their interest in expand the uh, different areas. So the way we scale the user committee is through working groups. Just to give you an, exam uh, an, uh, an example, we have the product working group, we have the user experience working group, and for instance, the user survey working group to actually collect uh, information about uh, all the deployments, whether they are in production, in POC, et cetera, out there. And why do you think it's important for there to be a really strong communication between operators who are using the software and the developers who are creating it? Excellent. So the developers are trying to do their best to actually fulfill all the requirements, but the requirements should come from the people to actually use, operate, and experience OpenStack every day. If we don't provide the feedback to the developers, they will be a little bit lost on the kind of the features that they want to have. And also, for the box fixing, it's very important to provide which bugs are actually being impacting most of the clouds, and they will prioritize those ones to be fixed as soon as possible. It's a collaboration work. It's not going to work if just the developers do the job. It's not going to work if only operators are uh, trying these deployments by themselves. It's a lot of collaboration and communication. Awesome. And I know you said you've been in the community for a really long time. So for operators who are just new to the community, what would you say is the, uh, the best first step for them to take to get involved? I would say right away getting to the mailing list. Uh, contact your other, your fellow operators. We are well known. Uh, investigate on the information that we have in the wikis and the foundation. Um, try to attend an operator's meetup as soon as possible. Uh, we're planning the next one probably in three, three months from now. So we're going to distribute information and try to host uh, in your local area uh, open stack operations uh, meetups. Maybe there is already one that you can join, so you don't need to create it from scratch. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.